Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all... Stop! Stop. What? What? I see what you wrote down there, and I'm not letting you go any further. Come on. Come on. We're not opening that way. We can get that way later in the show, but not right away. Oh, fine. Also, uh, your next line, no, you don't have a unicorn horn for us. All right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. How are you out there? Uh, welcome to As the Buckle Turns. I'm Adam. I'm Tim. And this week we're gonna cu- we're gonna actually have a short show. Yep. We we're, plan on it. We're trying something new. Yes. We're, um, we're, we'll oh, see more of it later of, yeah. in a few episodes, but we're trying something new. Yeah. Um, keep the show a little bit shorter. Um, we love talking for an hour and a half. We totally do. Um, we actually talk a lot longer than that. Only half of, only a half of it gets recorded because yes. we do our own inappropriate. Um, no one would ever listen to us ever again show before. Yes. If you think that what we put on here in the show may not always be appropriate, yeah. Off yeah. air, we're even worse. Yeah, we're a lot worse. I'm like, we should record this. No. No, no, no we, we shouldn't. shouldn't. One of the things I'm going to record it, just for the hell to record it, it'll never see the air of day, but just to say I recorded one. Okay. <laughs> be like, it's the lost episode. <laughs> <laughs> just for the fun of it. Uh but first off, I have to say something. Yes. We'll dive into it more in a few minutes, but it's official, Adam. Yes. Dave Metz- Meltzer. Meltzer? Meltzer? Meltzer. Meltzer? That guy. Yes. <laughs> um, has officially given WWE his first five-star matchup. Yes, I'm doing like a sign with the five, five fingers. Yeah, yeah, I got that. <laughs> uh, no, no one can see. Nope. Um, to a WWE match. It's not the first time. I mean, in, there is a, he's yeah. given a number of them. In eight years. Okay. Roughly. Roughly around there. That's not a good thing. No, it's not. And if you look at some of the stuff they've had, especially in NXT, which got the match. Yes. Um, they've, had some, they've had some really good matches before, but oh my God. The, when we get to the match, because if you have, don't know what match it is, then Google it. Yeah. We'll get to it in a few minutes, but if you don't want to wait, Google it. Yes. Just... And another tab so you can keep listening to our awesome voices. Uh, So, yeah, this week we are just running down the results of both NXT TakeOver Philadelphia and the Royal Rumble. Uh, So we're not doing news on this program anymore. Nope. Uh, We may be creating a new program to add that back in. Yep. Uh, But for right now, because we've been looking at our schedule and there's a lot more weeks between pay-per-views and results. Yeah. That, you know what? We can expand as to what we do, yeah. so we can save some news for another day. And yeah, we're gonna be playing around. What you'll see it in the next few, uh, few weeks. Hopefully, we'll be doing a shorter show here, a long, about an hour show for this. Yep. Um, maybe forty-five minutes because based on what we're doing. Yeah. Um, and then try doing more of a news type show, which is just like a fifteen, maybe thirty minutes based on what we have. Yep. And how much we ramble on yes. a specific thing. <laughs> um. No, we're not known to ramble. No, we're we stay right on topic. Yeah, never go off key because we're so awesome. Oh, Tim, I uh, so I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. We don't ramble. Oh, oh sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry. Okay, so Adam, get it, get it over with. Uh, what? Get what? Get, um, you, you know, you know, what you want. Uh, we're covering going over NXT first. Just say it. Oh yeah. Uh, so the uh, the results of NXT Takeover. Uh, I mean, there was uh, five matches. Uh, I'm just going to stretch this out for a little bit. Um, we have a show. Tim, to... you got uh, two right out of that. Let's just go ahead and say that again for a second time. There were two that you got right, uh, one of which we both guessed uh, correctly. Uh, Adam, we have a shorter show. Get to the point. Uh, yeah, I won this. I won this show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, four to uh, four correct to your two correct. Yeah, I I realized when I was watching NXT and then later uh, Royal Rumble that I pit, my picks were what I wanted to happen, not what logic dictated. Yes, and I say logic, not um, uh, storyline logic. No, um, betting odds. Oh, betting odds. Um, logic. Yeah. Um, it was just more what I wanted, and that's what was my problem. 
back at SummerSlam. <laughs> yes. The few the few pay per views I actually lost this, uh, in the air. I was actually betting with my head, what I wanted versus what dictated logic said. Personally, I say keep going with that. Yeah, of course you It'll do. be will will tie a lot more because <laughs> yeah. I always go with my heart. <laughs> I sure pretty much always do, unless it's a Brock Lesnar match. Then <laughs> yeah. I'm like, Lesnar's winning. Except for at WrestleMania this yeah, year. Yeah, we already know that one. <laughs> yeah, we know that one. <laughs> Reigns is winning that match. You know how great it would be is at the um, um, Elimination Chamber if they threw a, us a loop and said, nope, it's Strowman. And we got Brock Strowman, and Strowman is the one that dethroned him. Oh. Okay. See, okay. that would be way better. Oh, no. Okay, we got it. That's, that's all heart. <laughs> okay, we're getting off that topic. What? What topic? <laughs> I know. What are we talking about? Uh, um, but, yeah, so. Uh, but I want to say this. It's nice because how many more am I ahead of you now? Instead of what I was. What, what, oh, where before? did I put that? Uh, before, you were uh, 11 ahead of me. Yep. It has now been knocked down to nine. See, and I'm hoping between now and WrestleMania, I can knock that down even further. Yeah, because as much as it's fun to brag that I win, um, it's a little tiring. Yeah, for you, not for me. But if I get too far ahead of you, then it's just like you. Yeah, I'll still enjoy bragging about it. But end of the just, year, I mean, also our end of the year is WrestleMania. Yeah. Uh, end of the year, you'll just be like, yeah, I just, I, uh, I could lose the last. Two I could, or three pay per views completely. I could I could lose Royal Rumble through WrestleMania and still win. Yeah, no, we're <laughs> not doing that. No, no, no. good, that, good. So, but anyway, all right, back on topic. Uh, but so Adam is slowly catching up. We'll see. Yes, our Elimination Chamber in four weeks. I know. Yes, thank we're, you. We're in the new year, the new pay per view schedule for um, WWE with more gaps in between, which is actually kind of a good thing. Yep. I mean, I like the two week schedule, but at the same time, we got crap pay per views this year. Yeah, that were just kind of more than we necessarily needed. Yes. Um. So hopefully this will help fix the running team and give them a little the more king. Because yeah. there was a point where a number of Raw's solo pay per views just felt like an extended episode of Raw. Oh yeah. Um. There are a few of them. Yeah. So hopefully that will be fixed. Okay. Let's get into NXT. Okay. Um. So the opening match, yes, uh, it was the Undisputed Era, Bobby Fish and Kyle Kyle O'Reilly, who are currently champions, yep, with against the authors of Pain, Akam and Razar, with Paul Ellering. Uh, can I just what, say, yes, this match was good. Yeah, these guys, uh, authors of Pain, have come a long way, and it was proven here. Uh, one, I remember when they debuted, they were really heavy set. Yes, they uh, were, and. They are still a bigger guy, but you can tell they've slimmed down a lot. Um, seeing when they get eventually called up to the main roster, we'll see how long that lasts because that's harder to maintain. Yeah, because, I mean, you're on the road every day. Yep. All like NXT, um, you're on the road every weekend, but you have the rest of the week to be training and be able to get that weight thing. Exactly. Um, hopefully, they'll be able to maintain it because it is possible. You just have to figure out how to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Get with people who have had that problem. Get their suggestions, stuff like that. But man, this was a great match. Oh my God, was this a good match? Uh, so yeah, the Undisputed Era uh, did defeat Authors of Pain and to retain their championship. Yep. We both called that one. Yes, we did. Um, uh, I did like uh, yeah. how. Uh, no, that was later. Never mind. Okay, we'll get to that point. All right, we'll cut. You'll know. Uh, so the next match uh, was Velveteen Dream versus Cassius Ono. This is the one match I called in. By my, yeah. And I got right. Uh, can I just say this? Yeah. Uh, it's nice seeing a, a wrestler given a gimmick or could develop one and just fully commit to it. Yes. Uh, Patrick Clark clearly is the gold dust of this new era. Yeah. Because that's what Dustin did with the Goldust character. He was given he, a crap character that should have kind of been a, a, a sinker for him. A sinker. But I'm like, and he alienated himself very much at that time because mm -hmm. of the gimmick. Yeah. Um, Razor talked about how much he was uncomfortable with that when he, and all that. But Ooh. you know what? Well, oh, well. You look at back at that early Goldust, and <clears throat> I understand yeah. why he would be uncomfortable with that character it was 1996 95 96 yeah playing a over-the-top androgynous character yes it was uncomfortable yeah it was um but patrick clark oh my he's just onto something here yeah and 
wow, this was a good match. And the height he had to hit, his elbow, uh, that was – so Nice. It was nice. a good match. I mean, um, I had a feeling that he needed to win. Um on this one, yeah. Cassius Ono mm-hmm. is kind of like the Jake yeah, and just Jake. like you needed a win on, in this one. I never need a win because I'm so <laughs> far ahead of you. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh. But uh, Cassius Ono seems to be more the Jake the State type character. Yes. Um, but they actually announced like he doesn't want to be the gatekeeper. He wants to be NXT champion, which was Jake the Snake. It was never said on TV oh, though. Yeah. But he wanted to be champion. He wanted to be the face of the company. But. He was better off serving as that. You want to shut the belt with Hogan? You have to go through Jake first because you got to prove you can ha- you can yeah. do it. I I would have yeah yeah no yeah it was weird having it, realizing that, that that it was Snake that was that way mm-hmm. instead of uh, Savage yeah because I mean you look at the company at that time and you're like Savage is your number two guy yep so he's the gatekeeper. And it's like, no, it was actually their number four guy. Yep. <laughs> because Jake was just so well good. In, he knew the ring so well. Yeah. He knew the guy was good or not just by yeah. being in the ring with him five minutes. He's like, yeah, the kid's got it. Yep. Um, let's keep the program going. Wait, yeah. now I'm seeing him pretty good. Yeah. So, but yeah. Uh, so this was an overall good match. Eventually, I think we'll see Cassis Ono build up. Um, I think we're going to see something in the next year of him just getting pissed off at his visit where he is. And I don't want to say a heel turn, okay, but an attitude change. Oh, cool, cool. Um, more aggressive, more of the. I can't remember his name on the indie scene, um, but type of character. I don't know, I don't know, I don't even know. But I just heard he was a more aggressive kind of character there. But who knows? Okay, uh, it'll be interesting. But yeah. Patrick Clark is definitely in a good spot. That's good. Um. Another good match. <laughs> They're all good, pretty good matches. Well, I mean, once again, NXT TakeOver outshines, oh. to a point, Yes, Royal Rumble. Uh, let's put it this way. Here's the thing that WWE Vince McMahon let's, needs to understand. You look at all of these matches, every single one of them is different. Yes. And it worked. And instead of having this bland, uh, every match has to look the same, no matter who's in it. Because that's the, I our know. style. No, it's stop not. that! Stop it, Vince. You're fired. Go do your right. um your XFL. XFL. Yeah, we'll see you in 2021. Yeah, <laughs> and when it fails in 2021, uh, you can't come back. Yeah, nope. Sorry. All right. Uh, next up was Ember Moon with uh, Shayna Blazer or Basler. We'll uh, get this correct eventually. It's uh, I remember it because you have to say the S with the Z kind of merged. Basler. Basler. That's it. Okay. Yeah, because I remember listening to him like, wait, how did they say that? Oh, they kind of blended the S and Z together. Okay. So, yeah. Baszler. Baszler. All right. Uh, for the NXT Women's Championship. Uh, dude. 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 Women's what? wrestling. You are all about women's wrestling. Yes, I am. Tell me about it. Because uh, uh, I'm going to let everyone in on a little secret right now. I did not watch anything regarding the TakeOver. No clips, nothing. I'm sorry. Um, and he has to watch one match, which we'll get to. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> For sure, because, oh, my God, it was good. Okay, Ember Moon. But, but this matchup was good. Shayna. It was a good showing for um, Shayna. Yes. She dominated. She used her MMA, her aggressive style. Ooh. Using, like, arm bars, like, stuff like that. Um, making mistakes, basically costing her the match. Like, purposely trying to injure Ember Moon. Using that to get the win, and then making one mistake, because Ember used her um, veteran, in a sense, you could say. Okay. Um, more years of wrestling. Yes. Because um, she's not necessarily... <laughs> no. But she was a veteran yeah. in the ring. Um, to get a quick win, not hurting Sheena at all. Sheena gets to come back, shocked by the loss, finally gets to get pissed off and beat her up post-match. Ooh. It worked. Um, yes, I think it would have been an interesting thing to put the belt right on her, but at the same time, it worked where it didn't hurt anyone. It made no, Ember it... being showing how intelligent she is in the ring when someone who's outmatching her physically and still get a win, but it also showed how dominant and at the same time still still uh, green. You know, not necessarily green, but uh, young. not ri- as ring savvy. Okay. 
Um, All right. There. Um, the experience isn't there as Ember and got a, qu- a loss. All right. But uh, it continued the mean streak. Well, also, now you are look now as an audience member, you're looking forward to the next match exactly. between them. But yeah, it's definitely worked out. Um, so it was definitely one of those things that, that was my big worry in this matchup. If they didn't put it on Shayna, how do you protect her so d- the, a loss doesn't hurt her? Of course, I shouldn't be that worried because it's Triple H we're talking about. And Regal doing yeah. doing their thing. Yeah. Uh, Regal, like Triple H, they know how to book people when they don't get hurt. Listen to him, Vince. Or at least they know they know how to hire the people that book so this mm-hmm. doesn't hurt anybody. Yeah, exactly. Um, but I'm definitely going to say probably in this matchup, this was a Triple H probably thing. Probably. Um, he's like, oh, simply. Ember just gets – it's lucky, but like you – uh, just catches her off guard in a way that doesn't uh, – makes her look intelligent. Yeah. Um, but shocked because she wasn't used to it. So it works. Nice. Um, but yeah, it was a good. It wasn't the best match, um, but it was a good still outing. No, it was technically the shortest match on the card, yes. though. And that's what, uh, it, which it, is hilarious because of the way that women's wrestling had booked for, been booked for years. Yep. It's still considered a long women's match. Uh, yeah. How long was it total? Ten minutes. Yeah. If they got ten minutes back, like. It's five years ago. Five years ago? Yeah, no, no, no. You were like, this is an awfully long bathroom break. I know. Why why, why? are we doing did uh, something happen backstage and they can't they can't get to the next thing? Yeah, yeah, there's a delay backstage, so they're just making this match drag on. Yeah. <laughs> and they don't know what to do because they have been told they have more time. Exactly. And they're trying to just delay. And they didn't have an intelligent opponent someone like Natalia in the ring who can I, figure that out I, on the know. spot. <laughs> All right, next match. We've got Alistair Black. Versus Adam Cole. Now, uh, I do see that you had Cole down as winning originally. Yes. And I chose Black. Um, did I ju- did I say that you always bet on Black last? Yeah, I did say that. <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, Aleister Black defeated Adam Cole in, in the Extreme Rules match. Yep. Uh, this, was a, uh, this was a thing I was going to uh, say uh, for the... Uh, uh, I mean, uh, normally... Okay, normally... Anybody with the name Adam, yeah, <laughs> I am all for them, mm-hmm. but I, I had to bet on Black. Uh, no, uh, this was the thing I was gonna say. Sandy and getting involved, yes, uh, was very was fun. Um, and because uh, Undisputed Era, you knew it was gonna get involved, so oh, but, they did, yeah, that's awesome. They got involved, uh, that's what brought Sandy to the ring. Um, you see Adam Cole in the ring at one point, and what's his name? Um, the bigger guy. He's from England. Um, I'm picturing him. Yeah, I can't think of his name off the top of my head. Oh, by the way, he trimmed his beard. Oh. I mean, it's not like it's because it used to be a little bit wild. It's still long, but it's like, it's just kind of like. It's a more of a straight, straight down style. Yeah, and it looks better. Okay. It actually looks good. Um, it's uh, not like Eric Rowan, which is. No. <laughs> the crazy ginger beard. Yeah. It looks good. I like it, how he did it because the way he had him, he was wear, what he was wearing and his hair was. He looked um, a little bit better. All right. good. I just can't yeah. think of his. God damn it! It's gonna c- come to me. He stares like Adam Cole. You're looking. He's gonna hit him. Runs, dives out of the rain. Takes out Sandy. Takes out undisputed error. It oh, was great. Wow. It was great. It was a nice little like. <laughs> um, oh, by the way, um, Alistair Black had a little flub with the, the finish. <gasps> Not totally. Instead of hitting him in the face, he hit him in the side. For the, the go to black, I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, you kind of hit him in the side." So where he hit him, if he hit him actually him as hard as you you think he's hitting him, yeah, he would have broken ribs. But here's the thing: in the Royal Rumble, when a certain someone, Adam Cole, he came out, his ribs were taped for some reason. Hmm. Continuity. I know. Sung an injury. <gasps> what? what? Um. But this was a great hardcore match. Yeah. It was brutal. Uh, it was just like, <laughs> as much as mm-hmm. Adam Cole needs a win. Yeah. Uh, it was okay because the match was so good. You kind of like, okay, you know what? Whatever. It was good. <laughs> See, that is the best thing about 
like a good match yeah. is that you get you from the beginning to the end you're just like all right i want one of you to win and right now i don't care which one because i am actually cheering on both of you even yeah. though i know i do want someone to win yeah. but like holy crap you're doing so good i don't i will cheer at the end of this no matter what <laughs> no uh so it was definitely a great um <clears throat> match for that um black strong um so it'll be interesting where they go where they go from but yeah so and now for the nxt championship and the match that dave Meltzer gave five stars to andre almas uh with zelina vega mm -hmm. uh versus johnny gargano oh my fucking god dude first of all it clocked in at over a half hour yes it did um so that's what was awesome about it oh okay you know how <laughs> yeah you know how vince hates false finishes oh he hates them with a passion yeah he will never watch this match because i there are mo in the last 15 minutes maybe even 20 minutes whoa I'm thinking like we're getting close to the end of the match. False finish. Oh, here's where uh, Johnny's gonna win it. Oh, here's a. Oh, come on. Here's where Aldridge's gonna. Ah. Oh. 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 Holy fucking god. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. Yeah. Like, like at the point where like you think you know who's gonna find you because you start seeing like who's getting more dominant. Yes. And you're getting. You're looking at the time. And you're like, okay, this is where this person's gonna win. Oh, I guess this is where. And you start going like, I don't know who's winning. I have no clue who's gonna win this. That's I, what I'm talking about. That yeah. that's a brilliant moment where you're just like, I don't know who's gonna win, but yeah. I'm gonna cheer at the end no matter what. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know who's gonna win this. Like, oh my god, I don't know who's gonna win this. Holy shit! Wait, Thomas has to come out and cost him the match if he's gonna lose. Oh, wait, they're not gonna do that. Wait, wait, what's going? What the fuck is going on? Like, it was like, holy crap! I just want to say you have to watch. I'm this gonna match I'm gonna watch this match because this match was amazing. This just shows you. One, they constantly compare Johnny Gangaro to Daniel Bryan. Ooh. Which makes you wonder, like, are they going to pull the trigger and do the, um, give, put the belt on him? That That's why. They had his whole family there, um, Johnny Gangaro. Wow. On um, there. So you're thinking, like, wait. Are they really putting the belt on him? Um, they hype up. Almost has beat him two times already. Are they going to put the belt on him? Or is he going to win? Standard WWE motive would be like Gargano's walking out of here the winner, yeah. which is why he like, it works. The storytelling and it's so good. The one of the best parts of this match is when Selena Vega, yeah, Zelina Vega, Zelina, is it Zelina? Is it Zelina? Zelina, yeah, Vega is like can't imagine like what happened. So when uh, Elmas gets back in the ring and Johnny's still out there, she gets up to her Karana into the corner of the stairs in the pole. Um, to catch him, rolls him back in, doesn't get the pin, falls back out. She's like, because marches around the ring. He's like, okay, I'm doing this again. And Johnny Gagaro's wife, Candice LeRae, who is now signed in the WWE, jumps the turnbuckle, the, the guard, and tackles her and chases her out of the ring, the arena. So technically, it was Candice LeRae's. First appearance? Yes. Uh, as And getting involved. Basically, we now, because of that little spot, when she actually debuts in NXT, she has a feud. Spo Not only does she have a feud, but there's a built-in storyline. Yes. Um, They even capture that because, spoilers, if you haven't watched NXT yet, for the coming weeks, they just uh, filmed. Yep. Uh, They had a spot where he's out there talking about this. They come out. Just saying, blah, 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 you didn't deserve that, uh, blah, 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 blah. And then uh, Johnny says, you know what my favorite part of the match was? It was when my wife jumped, um, tackled you and chased you out of the arena. And Vega gets pissed off saying, I want you gone. You don't deserve it. What is it going to take? <laughs> One more shot at the championship. She's like, you want that? Fine. When we beat you, you're gone from NXT forever. Oh, oh, no, that does kind of set up the fact that there's either possibility that they're going to put the belt on him. Yep. Or that's when he moves to the main roster. Exactly. Whatever the plans are. I don't think they're going to move him away from the main roster into the main roster. If they do, it'd be for the Cruiserweight Championship. Yeah. Which, honestly, 
hit him there um, would work, but at the same time, I don't think they would use him well right there. No, not right now. No, uh, give it, you know what? Give him uh, an, one more year with NXT after winning the belt. Yep. Um, that's when he can have the uh, a promo uh, a a program. Yep. With uh, Tiamat. Tama- Tomas. Yeah. Champa. Champa. There we go. Just Champa. Champa. Uh, but yeah. Um, but that's the thing, because at the end of this match, after he lost, yep. they're backing up and he's cheering, and T- Champa comes out with the crutch, knee brace on, cracks it against his back, and just stares at him. So that that is still going on between yep. them. Um, Long term story. <laughs> I think they wanted to, what the the plan was to say, you uh you haven't don't forget about me. Yeah. We're not there yet because he's now ready. He, I think he's at the point probably in his physical therapy where he's about to be able to get back in the ring for training. Right. And then that will be the storyline going after WrestleMania for Johnny. And it would be cool to see the two of them, uh, Johnny and Ciampa. You know, Ciampa, it's, for him, the story is it's the climb back yep. to defeat uh, Johnny. Yep. Now, was it Johnny that attacked him? No, it was, no, it was Ciampa. Th- okay. Uh, to to now take uh, to come back and be like, no, I'm better than ever, kid. Yeah. At the same time, the secondary storyline is there's the belt involved too. Yep. See, here's what I'd love to see them do: is Johnny winning at WrestleMania weekend because that's mm-hmm. when the match takes place. Mm-hmm. He wins it. Yeah. We then get at the next NXT or on T on like the normal show. Yep. Uh, Tomas wins it. Yeah. Like. The Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, Ke- his first real defense to Kevin. Um, within not two months, which was Z- Sami's, like a month. Yeah, he's back. He wins it. Now the storyline is building back up to it, and have these two switch the belt back and forth once or twice. Um, that way have have four matches. Yeah, not your standard three. No, four, four. matches. Yep. So it's. It's a hair longer than it needs to be. Yep. Um, and it switches between them every single time. Yep. And the stipulation on the fourth match is much like the uh, John Cena, Randy Orton. Yep. You will, n- at, no matter who wins, you mm. will not face each other again. There's not a rem- in NXT. Yeah. Key in, word. In, in NXT. NXT. You know, for the, you will never face each other again for the NXT belt. Yeah. yeah. You know, something like yeah. that. Yeah. And you're just like, that means that one, that the next time that we see them going for a belt against each other, yeah. will be on the main roster. Exactly. So it's like, all right, yeah, yeah. But I, the reason I say four is because it's one past three is the golden number. Yeah. Uh, but the four, you're just like, okay, we needed another match. Yeah. Come on. But <laughs> these are the guys who could put it on. Right. Oh no, wow. no, NXT is the show that can do that, and you still want to see it. But the also thing is, if you go and back and watch their match at in the Cruiserweight Classic, which is when they started teasing the breakup as a tag team. Yes. Because Ciampa was mad that he lost, and they didn't do the whole tag thing, and then they won the belt, and then they... Long-term story planning, Vince! What? Long-term What story... is this? What? 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 Triple H, stop that! Yeah, I know. Stop giving them thoughts. Thoughts uh, and uh, things. So we still actually... Coming in about a half hour, but we yeah. really had to drag on that on uh, that because I'm telling you, if you've not watched that match, just go and watch that match. It is, oh my god, it's a fucking amazing. All right. Um, I will say fucking amazing for that match, repeatedly. Okay. Nothing on the on the Royal Rumble came close to that. Okay, there were pops. Pops. Uh, by the way, I also kind of look at the Royal Rumble as your once a year pop fest. <laughs> yes, it is. Like that's all it's really there for. I mean, it is. Uh, it extends stories. It, it starts new ones. But yeah. really, it's because, as a show by itself, yep, it's meant to just go. So and so. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's going on. Okay. And so and so. So uh, every two minutes, yeah. there's a pop. <laughs> or 90 seconds, depending yeah. on what they're doing that year. <laughs> yeah. This year was two, right? It was 90. I it think. was 90 Every again? Every year was 90. I liked it. It looked, made it go a little bit faster. Yeah. With two with two rumbles, they had to. Well, yeah. I mean, even though it still clocked in at over an hour. Yep. Uh, okay. So what I want to do with the Royal Rumble one is mm-hmm. we'll cover the matches first. Yeah. Then we can, that way we can break down the two Royal Rumbles in a little more detail. Yeah, we can. Okay. All right. 
Uh, so the first we're gonna go with the three pre shows. Yep. Uh, the first one was the six man tag. Uh, we called it Kalisto's team versus uh, the other one. <laughs> one one. We both went, got a win. Uh, we actually both chose Kalisto on this yeah, one. So yeah, it was a win win. Yep, we both got the win. Uh, I actually I watched this match. Oh, you did. Um, I watched the entire pre show. I only caught the uh the... live as it happened. I only caught the um the U.S. title match. Okay. Um, because that's when I tuned back in to it. Yeah. I, oh no, I was just like, okay, okay, and then I turn away when it would be like twenty minutes <laughs> of terrible talking. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm uh, glad that Booker T's gone. Yeah. Uh, in all honesty. Oh yeah, so do I. He was. Uh, he, he's Coach not, was Coach was awesome. He's not good on the mic. No. Well, when you get a scripted, pro, scripted oh, promo. Oh yeah. When you have Vince in your ear. No, no, no. Um, um, and the Laundra Bra- Blaze segment. Yeah. Did you see that? They kept hounding her because she kept, I don't know, like pick, trying to pick a woman. I'll tell you this. I thought it was hilarious how her and uh, JBL played off each other but at the same time. Oh, yeah. By I, the way, JBL was there. So it was, <laughs> you o'clock, <laughs> motherfuckers! <laughs> Sorry That's about a- that for your headphones out there. <laughs> yeah. It, the best part is I wasn't even facing the mic on that one. <laughs> no, you were up. <laughs> that is all echo. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. But yeah, it was like it was a fun little segment, but it was hard. But I will say this: I love I love John in this because he just kept you going. Pick someone. Yeah. Well, I mean, he was playing JBL. Yeah, he was playing JBL. But eventually, when they all when she just kept wouldn't pick someone. Yeah. Renee Young got like so. That's your pick. He's like I didn't say that, but you said you are a favorite, and like. They started gaining up on her. I'm like, get her off. Because she's taking too long. They're trying to move segments, and yeah, she's not. That that's exactly what. Because yeah, I've done a panel show before, and sometimes getting someone to take a pick yep. is super difficult. And then I just go, well, you have no pick. Moving on. Yep. And they're like, but there's. I'm like, no, no we're done mic. here. Yep. We're done here. We're moving to the next subject. Um. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, so this was this was actually I really enjoyed this. This also shows how how good in ring the entire two hundred five live division is. Yeah, because if you the, there's a reason why the Cruiserweight Classic was successful because they were allowed to fly do it's, what they do. It's the cutting that down to a tiny segment on Raw and a show only on the network. Yeah. Doesn't allow these guys to do what they do best. But even when they do it on the network, they still don't allow them to fly. From what no. I understand, it's not that much. No, which is dumb. That's what they do. I know. That's how they're gonna get over. But so it's like no. I know. So next up was the revival. Uh, we against the club. The Balor Club. Yeah, it's the Balor without club. Balor. Yeah, that's um, why uh, the people who won. Yes, I know. Uh, yes, the revival did win. Uh, we both got that one wrong. Yep. 50 50 booking. Yay. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love I, the revival. I would love to see the revival have, but I think what would work better for them right now mm-hmm. and what would have worked better for them is to continue being the underdog. Yep. Chomping away at the big boys. Yep. You know, DX, uh, you know, the, the club, the, you know, they keep going after the big guys. And they keep being put down yeah. until one time they win. Yep. And when they win, they don't really stop winning. Yep. Like, if they lose against somebody, the next time they face them, they beat them. Yep, because they found the flaw. They're like, nope, we figured out we figured out your style. You have to change in order to be able to beat us now. Yep. And that becomes like, it's one of those things that it's like, you guys could be the stepping stone. Yep. You guys could show story-wise, that you're the stepping stone around here. You're yep. like, yeah, we beat you. We beat you four times. Oh, you finally changed up what you do in the ring, and now you beat us. Yeah. Good on you, kid. You finally did something different. Good yeah. job. And, I mean, it would be nice. To... One thing that definitely does need to come back mm-hmm. is reversals. Yes. Oh. Okay. Let's pick it yeah. up. Uh, but the uh, Revival won. Yes. So uh, Next up was the U.S. The Open Challenge for the U.S. title. Um, there, first off, I, I do have to spend a, a minute on this one. Yeah. Their, the original plan was for Ziggler to come out and challenge. They decided to change that to Adam Cole. 
Then they realized he's gonna lose to the glorious DDT. Yeah. And they switched it to him to his his appearance to the Royal Rumble. Because I think Jim was like, No, he's not losing on his debut match. Nope. Uh his main roster <laughs> no, debut. And and even better, it's not even his main roster debut. It's just the yeah. a main roster pay per view pay- yeah. debut. Yeah, so no. We're putting him there. Because if he when he gets eliminated, it doesn't hurt him. No. Um, it's like Ty Dillinger losing, you know, getting eliminated. No one actually gets hurt by being eliminated except for like the last elimination. Yeah. That's it. Unless, or the very first. Or if it's fa- or, if it's fast. Or if it's a really you walk in, you get out immediately. And we'll get to one of those eliminations later. Okay. All right. Uh but um so but yes, yeah, so that's why uh, Mojo Riley was put in that position. <laughs> you know and, what? He doesn't get hyped. He's always hyped. He stays hyped. Get he, right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Um, oh, but poor were, Mojo! It wasn't a bad match. Bobby um, Roode did a great job against somebody else's imaginary friend. Yeah, I know. Uh, this is a great how Bobby Roode is in the ring, being in there by himself and making it look like he's in there with someone. <laughs> Mojo needs more matches so we can have these conversations. <laughs> I know. But I will say this: there was a little bit of a blot in the glorious DDT. Yes, I and, did. Yeah, and, did and catch from that. A, when I remember, it looked like it was more of a rally. Well, also weird thing. Um, Rude was still selling an arm injury at that yeah. point. So with that, because immediately right after he gets up and he's yep. like grabbing his arm, and I was like, "Thank you for continuing your sell job, yeah, and for kind of botching your your finisher, which goes into your sell job." The finisher, finisher. <laughs> Shut up. It was more. Shut up, you. If you watch it though, it's really a rally. He didn't. Oh himself, yeah, he yeah. didn't give him enough to get him up. I know. Um, but the same thing, even if he did get him up, you could still say adrenaline moment. Yeah. That's and then that's why he's grabbing his arm because the adrenaline is like it was like burst and well, it's gone. Yeah, and plus with Mojo's size, I can understand being yep. like, Oh, I couldn't hold him but, all the way through it. But he didn't have to, like it was a blotch on more it looked like more on Raleigh's side. Probably but, Raleigh uh, Mojo probably only didn't jump enough. Yep. So it was but overall it was a decent match. Yeah. Nothing good, like spectacular, but I mean um, it'd be nice to see um, Rally Mojo Rally get a little bit more. He's not ready for the title, like a title yet. No, no, no. Um, but it's nice to see them using his win, the of uh, the Andre the Giant, the Battle Royal win to build him a little bit this year. Yes. Um, which he never really did with anyone else. No. Um. So. No, because it was a full year after that Strowman started getting his push. He never got. He never won it. Oh no, he didn't. Um, it was, he was uh, the favorite. Bear, it was lot. Baron Corbin. Oh yeah, who didn't really get a push until over a year later. Yeah. So. All right. So the first, the opening match of the night was the AJ Styles versus Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn handicap match for the WWE Championship. I love it that they had to tag in and out. Yes, I do love that because that was the thing that's like if they're in the ring together. That's gonna make it really hard to for AJ to retain, which he had to. Yes. Uh, we knew he was gonna retain for this one. But I love that they said they had to tag in and out. And I love the finish of the tag in and out uh, of the match. Where they kind of looks like the tag. They don't. Sammy gets dumped out. Kevin comes in. Gets the gets pinned. Ref there. They bitch about it to Kev, uh, Shane later on. He's like, did you see that? Like, did you see that? Like, he's just like, yep. And then <laughs> walks off. Uh, well, see, that's the thing, though. Kevin came into the ring signaling that it was a valid tag yep uh which means that him being the ref went tag happened okay yeah you're the legal man and they're like no no i wasn't and it's like well then you cheated yeah so either way it's not good for you buddy yeah so it was but it was a good matchup yes it was a little confusing going into how this is gonna work it was clearly they were never gonna put the first co-tag team of world champions no, no. Um, that's something you can do with the women's division. No, no, that's what you can do with the divas nope. division. They did it with the women's championship. Before oh, it they, was the women's before, championship. Before they merged them into the divas championship. Yeah, because Layla and Michelle McCool ripped the belt in half, and they have both had a half of the belt. Uh, that was just oh, sorry. You know what? Let's not. Let's move on. Yeah, moving on. Uh, but it was a good match. Yes. Uh, so the next up was the two out of three falls for the WWE SmackDown Tag Team Championship. The Usos versus Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin. Uh, we had this wrong. Yeah. We both had this wrong. Yep. Uh, let me put it this way. 
this match, I enjoyed this match the entire time. Mm-hmm. I, was kind of, I was listening to Wrestle Talk, or yeah, I think it was Wrestle Talk. No, 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 it was uh, IGN, the guy who did the wrap up. He still does things for the pay per views, like just goes with the matches as okay, a, like a little summary after after each match. I agreed with him. He's like, by the time this thing, I liked it the whole time. By the time I started to find it, its groove, it was over. Oh, um. But it was still entertaining the entire time. Yeah, that's weird because it, it is it is clocking in at just under fourteen minutes. Yeah, it was just starting from to bell find to bell. Groove. It was trying to fire in his groove, and it just was over. I do like the fact that it was two straight pins, because that is cool. You don't see that in two no. or three falls. No, um, normally it's pin, pin, pin. Fifty fifty booking. And but wow, okay, all right. In a yeah. sense, in yeah. a sense. When you oh yeah, yeah, yeah. In the ma- within a single match. Well, I mean, most but, of the time you do that to stretch the match yeah. out. But I like, I mean, I like that. But at the same time, it was just the pins were so close together; they kind of blurred together a little bit. But at the same time, the final pin should have been a little bit more detailed. Whereas, like me, the first met pin should have been the way it ended, or. Made it a little bit more obviously that this pinfall was going to be the pin in a way where it was still a shock. But you're like, oh, okay. Well, it just kind of came out of nowhere, it seemed like. Okay. But uh, <laughs> let's put it this way. Shelton and uh, Chad Gable, they are on fire. Uh, I want to see them keep doing what they're doing because they're a beast in that ring. Good, good, good. So, but. Um, skipping the next match. That was the Men's Royal Rumble. Yep. Uh, next up, we have Cesaro and Sheamus uh, versus Seth Rollins and Jason Jordan for uh, the WWE Raw Tag Team Championship. I forgot when I made my prediction that um, Jordan was injured. Yeah. I forgot all about that. If I knew that, I would not have picked them. Oh, I'll be honest. I didn't even realize it. Like, it yeah. just it didn't click with me when we were talking about it before. I read something before, early in the week, before predictions, that he was off the house shows. Didn't even think about it when I came to it. And I would never would have picked him. I do like how they used that in story. Yes. Um, Him being a little brat. Like, he tried, he tags himself in, then he can't really do anything. So he tags back out and just sits on the stairs. Yeah. Like a, a brat. Like, I'm too hurt. <laughs> Poor me. Um, I mean, the sad part is, though, it, it, it is a, it's a concussion injury. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, I mean... Yeah, uh, but it was a nice little way to nod into yes. that. Um, I mean, especially since, you know, he, the concussion was clearly one of those that it's like, okay, he will definitely recover and come yeah. back 100% from this. But we, we can, because of that, we can actually have a storyline yeah. about it. Yeah, so it was a Because nice... otherwise he can't be on, on TV, like, at all. Yeah, so it was great to use this, because when he finally does come back to the TV... The heat he's going to get. Oh, the heat's going to be amazing. It's going to be awesome. I, personally, I think he come come back and go on a win streak, yeah. but not he himself be um, underhanded or anything yeah. like that. He's a straight up, you know, his much like Kurt Angle style, straight wrestling. Yep. All right, but yeah, but it was a good match, but um, Sheamus and Cesaro. Dabar. Dabar are the new tag team champions. Hell Yeah. Um, so for that, and the next matchup is, we all know it's, you know, Brock Lesnar kept his title from Kane and Braun. We, we know, we know that one. Uh, I can't remember who had the excellent point on this. I read somewhere, uh, this is the match that Braun and Brock should have had back in September. Yes. Um, without Kane, but it was still a decent matchup, but it was clear. Um, Kane was the fall guy. And I loved how Braun got in the ring afterwards, like, I didn't lose! You didn't beat me! He's screaming as Brock's backing up the ramp. I'm like, you didn't beat me! And I'm like, yes! Yes! That's, that's why it would be so great if Braun was the one to take the belt yeah, off oh yeah. from Lesnar. I know, but it's not, but oh well. Nope. Alright, so the Royal Rumble. Alright, are don't we... Think, I don't think we're going to keep it under an hour. Uh, nope, but, not really. Oh well. Eh. But uh, men's or women's first? Do men's. Men's it is. All right. Um, first two guys in the ring were R- Rusev and Finn Balor. Oh, God. I am so sorry for Finn to be stuck in the ring with Rusev immediately. Yeah. Uh, let me just put it this way. Uh, 
Rusev Day was over. Oh, yeah. I mean, no, he he lasted actually. He lasted a while in the in Finn the was the Iron Man. Of yes, the he was. He was the Iron Man. Yes, he this. was. Uh, uh, but Rusev Day, like when he came out, when we found out, like, um, it was Rusev. The fans were pop. Like, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, he's over. a face right now. Yeah. Fans love this guy. Yeah. And English, English is getting that rub because he's doing this entrance form. Yep. Even when he came in with his own music, he got, he didn't get a bunch of a pop. By no, the time but he there's got, still a pop. But by the time he got to the ring, people were cheering for him. Yes. Um. So it was one of those things. It's slowly like, oh wait, we were looking for something different for a uh, different music for him. But like he's still getting a little bit of the rub here, which is great. Um. Finn coming out. People were like, I don't know how to respond to this. <laughs> Big dude, tiny dude. Big dude, tiny dude. Oh, we really like this guy. Oh, wait, it's the other guy who's really over. That we love he's as old. well. He's over, Vince. He's goddamn fucking over. <laughs> wow. I mean, all right. Yeah. Um, it was awesome to see that the first elimination was Rhino. Yeah, I know. Uh, My downfall, though, is that it was done by Baron Corbin. I know. Come on. But Corbin was then immediately eliminated after that. Yes. And destroyed everyone. <laughs> which I did like because it helped kind of keep him. Because he, let me put it this way. Everyone who's been saying this is true. This is one of the best rumbles they've had in years. There's so many small little storylines in for people yeah. in this. Basically, if you took last year's Royal Rumble compared to this one's. Well, the last one, people hated it. Not a lot of pops or, like, um, cameos. Yes. This one, still not as many as we've had in the past. We had some good ones. But there were stories in this one. You had stories that you can use, spin out of it into feuds going into WrestleMania. Exactly. Um, and this was something for good for Corbin. He's, he ruins his opportunities. That was another thing. So he just, just, what does he do? He flips out, beats everyone up. He Slayer's coming down the ring. He takes him out. Yeah. What is his storyline for the rest of the night? Every time someone comes out, they beat him up. Except for Big E, who makes him try to eat pancakes. Yeah, by the way, when did when did Heath officially enter? I was like four or five episodes, like four or five people later. Okay, so Big E was nine. Sheamus. Oh, so it was Sheamus. Sheamus came out. That's 11. Yeah, he came in, Sheamus out, came out, picked him up, threw him in the rumble, into the ring, got in. Got up. Heath immediately closed on him over, eliminating him. Yeah, because uh, Sheamus's official time is 20 seconds. Yes. And there are quotes around that yeah. because it's disputed. It's um, not. A, he was in there for maybe like five seconds. Slater was immediately taken out as well. Yeah, and after that. Um, like, his, like, his official time, 33 seconds. It was uh, funny because it was a great little story for Heath. Oh, He's yeah. He's getting beat up by everyone except for Big E. You get the pancake spot. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> But then when he finally gets thrown in the rumble, he eliminates the, a big guy. Yeah. Like Sheamus immediately. <laughs> so when he gets to toss out of the ring after that, it does he's not hurt. Did Triple H book this rumble? <laughs> I don't I don't know because you know, uh you have uh Andre Almas uh coming in and you know, lasting a half hour and being eliminated by Randy Orton. Yeah, oh my god, Almas did a great job in there. Uh, you have Elias being eliminated by John Cena. Yep. Keeping that little bit of a story thing going on. Yep. Uh, because, I mean, it's been... Basically, oh. it, basically, Elias is kind of a, Hey, John, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he is. And it's just like, John's like, Really? <laughs> Come you on. You and me? Come really? on. Really? Come on. Yeah. It's like, I, I don't... Un it's more. It's more like Cena's just like I don't truly understand your animosity outside of me being the biggest guy, the biggest dog. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you're technically the newest guy here. See, I like shut how, up. <laughs> I liked how because he came out after Corbin took out everyone. Yeah, and he's just in the ring. He wants to sing his song. Yeah, and then another guy comes out. And he's like, "Fuck." <laughs> um, but yeah, it was so. There, there's that. Uh, one the. Biggest pops of the night. Six one nine. Oh my god! By the way, also uh, that's one of the clips. It's also one of the most played clips. Oh yeah. The fact that it was like, but yeah, but yeah, and I was just six, like, one, oh. yep. And wow, uh, Ray, you look amazing right now, dude. Let's put it this way. You're First off, 
he brought back the tights from the, the kind of tights he wore in, wore in WCW. Yes. Speaking of WCW, he looks like the size that he was in WCW. He actually looks like a cruiserweight uh, there. Like, he looks amazing. Like, yeah. I couldn't believe how small, like, this, because he used to be, when he came in originally, he, he had bought more muscle up, but, like, he still has muscle, but he's shrank down. He just looks so healthy and just, like, he could go for, like, another five years. Yeah. Uh, he, and clearly he can't. I mean, I mean, he doesn't want to be a full time. Well, no, he, uh, it's not necessarily that. Uh, he is still under contract with, uh, who are you saying no about? To, um, Lucha Underground? No. There's a Mexican promotion. Nope. He's their champion. Uh, from what I understand, the agreement he has, it's one of those agreements he could go anywhere. He's, yeah, he's but free. I mean, he, so he, you this know. Was, this was a one-time off for him. Yeah, that's uh, what this was. Uh, and the re- one of the reasons why is because WWE wants a full-time out of him. He doesn't want the full-time. But they'll think, come to an agreement at, after I'm, this pop. They'll yeah. come to an agreement, especially if they can, can say, "Can you come and work with our cruiserweights?" Yes, um, and do some stuff with that. And we'll still use you on the main roster, but we want to just kind of use you. To, we want to elevate the cruiserweights. Yeah, Triple H will be like, can we, "We need to use you. We need you to help elevate this. Yeah, make it beyond so he doesn't fall into the same category where it was last time." And I think Ray would do it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Well, I mean, you got Ray, you've got Ricochet. Yep. So he's going to be on the NXT most likely. No, but when he does come up, yep. it's, he's going there. You have Finn. I know. Use him. He was the junior weight, junior heavyweight champion yeah. in New Japan, I know. which is their cruiserweight division. I know. Uh, use him in that for a little bit. Help to get that over. Yeah. Um, in that. Don't take make his pay cap come down because he's over there. No, no, he stays what he's at. Yeah, because you're using him to help elevate, and he's still the main roster guy. Yeah. he could just basically be like, "I'm not showing up on 205 Live." You want this? You're coming to Raw, and then you have a little bit of a back and forth between him and their new GM, Rockstar Spot. Yep, or whatever his name is. In I WWE. totally don't remember it right now. But so, but yeah, so that was one of the biggest pops. And here's an interesting fact. Yes. WWE uh, blew the, the winner. Wait. How did they blow it? <laughs> Just give me a little shake. I, no. <laughs> they used a little extra tongue. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, whoa. <laughs> Too fast. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, it's uh, okay. Spoilers alert if you haven't known this. Shinsuke Nakamura won the Rumble. Yes. Yes. Uh, when they can't, he came out, what does Cole say? Hmm. 14. No one's ever won anything from, four, from God, 12 really? to like 7 to like the, in the teens who has ever won it. Um, I don't know if it was when he came out or it was like soon before he came out. He said this. I'm like, someone's coming out in number there and winning it. Soon case came out at 14. I'm like, soon case winning it. Yes. I won't say this. I was a little worried at the end still, but that's what good booking does. Yeah. But they blew, gave that little heads up, which is great. I'm glad I caught that little thing because people who didn't, they were really concerned for Shinsuke in the end. Yeah. Um, no, I, one other thing that uh, I loved about this was that the fact that uh, Matt, Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt eliminated each other. No, what I loved about it, yes, they eliminated each other, but before they did that, they worked together yeah. to eliminate some a few people. Yeah, and then they just started going at each other. It was brilliant. It was great. Uh, they only eliminated one other person. Okay, yeah. So they but were, they attacked one another person together before they started. To, yeah. It was more like to get him out of the way kind of thing. Um, Matt Hardy needs a better theme song, though. Yeah, he does. Uh, one thing I've noticed, though, uh, only two. Wow. So, you know, some years you have the one guy that hits like the five or six. Yep. No one did that this year. The, the highest number for eliminations is four. Yep. And that's both Finn and... Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns. Yep. Who came out at 28. See, oh. I, but see, I like that. I like that the fact that they had more people get eliminations versus one person. Yes. Limiting no. almost half the roster. It does make sense when you have a monster. Yes. Uh, if you have If a Strowman was in there. Strowman, I would expect a, a five or a six. Yes. A seven even. Actually, I want Strowman to be the one that breaks the record eventually. Well, I mean, to me, it should... Kane should have just been because... 
those records in the Rumble no. are designed for monsters. Yes. Your biggest guys. That's why they give it to Reigns because they were trying to get him over. It doesn't work. I mean, that would be like giving it to Triple H. Yeah. You know that Triple H would have been like, no. I don't want it. No. Why? I should only have six or seven because yeah. I'm not that much better than everyone else here. I'm, I'm, no, I'm that much better one-on-one. -on -one. Yes. I'm not that much better five on one I, there's six unless guys in the ring i'm gonna i'm gonna forget who i'm looking at unless they're jobbers yeah. then i then, can do it yeah um <clears throat> case in point when john cena came down and uh target number one and they all attacked him yes there's a reason for that big max john the, you need <laughs> to worry about him great idea um yeah, this match was just so well booked. Yeah, it really was. Like, I love the fact that it really did. And there, there was the moment. I mean, yeah, you've got Adam Cole coming out yep. there. Uh, you got the, 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 the hurricane randomly showing up. And yep. I was like, okay, that's awesome. Goes for chokes him on Cena, picks him up, just goes up. He does a little thing and goes back to the hurricane. Yeah. <laughs> well, so, like, you know, some years there, there's been a ton of legends and free yep. agents showing up. Outside of John. Yep. There were two. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for promoting your your current roster. Yep. I would have liked one more, maybe two more. Okay. Because it's still not that, it's still a lot less than having in the past. Yep. But at the same time, it's nice to have some of this. But again, I do like how we had a few more NXT people than I was expecting for this match. Like Adam Cole, was not expecting that. Definitely wasn't expect Elmas to show up. And I loved how he came out with the belt. Yes. And showed off the belt. Selena Vega, Zelina Vega was there to show it like there. She went back because obviously you don't want her at the ring. It would have been nice to see her at ringside. But there, Ember Moon, side note, shows up in the Women's Royal Rumble, has the belt, selling an army dream from her match. Yeah, I know. Storytelling at all times. <gasps> now, I do have to say, I love the fact that the final four was uh, Finn, John, uh, Roman, and Shinsuke. Yes, because there's actually you've got two smaller and two smaller guys that are super over with the fans, yep. and the two big guys that you're like, you both Vince suck. Mc well, you both suck. The fans were yeah, chanting yeah. multiple times, but with you know from a, a Vince point of view that that's what wrestling should look yep. like. What happens? We have Shinsuke defeats defeats yep. Roman for this, and I'm like, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. There were spots where, like, the arm bar over the top, that could have gone really wrong, and Roman would have accidentally won the Rumble. I know. And I know. it's one of those spots that Reigns could have um, blocked on accident. Oh, I know. Because he get, and it's not because he did it on purpose, because he get his arms get sweaty, and that he's a really sweaty guy. So he could. I mean, he's no Bill Goldberg no, level sweaty guy. But he could have easily slipped off. Yes. Um. So, but I like that, and I did like to show uh, the one thing. Wow, using spots that show character, Roman overpowering it, and then turning it into a, a somewhat of a power bomb, but then falling down and not immediately going. So I'm a, I stay on my feet. Yes, he had a moment where he gained some adrenaline to pull him up, slam him down, and then that was it for a moment. Wow, why don't you do that more in his matches instead of trying to make him look unstoppable or just maybe you get a little bit more there. I okay. doubt it, but all right, uh, let's get over to the ladies yes. now. Uh, so yeah, we're not going, we're, we're no. two minutes left. We're, <laughs> we're yeah, we're, we're going a little go, bit longer, going, but. but this will be we're not going for another half hour. No, we're not. All right, um, okay, it's cool that the first four, you know, it's Sasha, Becky, Sarah. Why do I not? Why does that name just does not look familiar to me? Who? Sarah Logan. Sarah Logan. She's from um, on SmackDown. She's part of the riot, the Riot Squad. Oh, okay, okay. I know. Okay, yeah. Never mind. I was like, why? I know who she is, but her name just at yep. that moment was just like you don't know who her. Yep. Uh, and Mandy Rose to start that that thing off. I was like, all right, all right. Man, can I just say this? Yeah. Mandy was already over. I know. Uh, when she came out, she got a nice little pop. Uh, she can squat th 300 pounds. Wow. So she's strong. I can't even do that, dude. No, either can I. 
Um, she I was, mean, I'm lucky if I'm doing like 50 or 60. See, the one thing I wish that I wish she lasted long in the Rumble. My own body weight. And you know one reason why I wish she lasted yes. long in the Rumble? Because of who number 30 was. I know. Who people compare her to. Uh, Look-wise. So, I, now I'm just going to go, because yeah. we all know. Asuka won. Yes. Asuka won. It was totally worth it. But she wasn't dominant. Nope. I mean, she, she had some spots where she was dominant. But at the same time, there was one other, another spot I wish they gave us to us. But at the same time, I'm glad they kind of saved it for a little t- another time. Uh, one of the surprise entries from NXT. Yes. Kari Hussain. I was hoping for an Asuka Kari Sane stare down. Oh, okay. Um, like, it's just like, oh, what's going on here? Like it'd be like, ha ha ha. So that would be kind of cool. But but yeah, so let's start with the the first four. Uh, yeah. Four. It was start a nice start off. Starting off with Sasha Banks and Becky Lynch. Yes. Great way to start this thing I know. off. I know. I um, know. It just showed you that Becky was not winning it or Sasha. No, but. Sasha went the distance. Yeah, she was the Iron Man. Yep. I wish that that should have gone with, I think, to Becky because she just came back. It would right. help her look a little bit better. But again, a Raw star was winning, so a Raw star had to go do the Iron Man. Yes. Uh, I do have to say one thing. Did you catch uh, Sasha's kicks to Lita in the corner? I've... That after the first one didn't connect to a damn thing anywhere near them? No, I didn't catch that. Oh, it was bad. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah it was it was not pretty. Yeah. Uh, did you also catch Lita nearly killing herself in the ring? Yes. You can tell that she hasn't been in the ring for a while. Yeah. I know that she used to do the... It was a very late jump for her on her moonsault. Yeah. Um, but that was... That was almost... She almost just fell down. Yeah. Like, uh, there was so little to the jump. She didn't really move as much. People saying, like, oh, people saying, you still got it. She was very protected. Yeah. And she you could tell. But the thing is, she hasn't really been, from what I understand, hasn't really been wrestling as much. No. Um, which is fine because injuries and like that. But it was great to see her come in. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was. Um, because she was one of the pioneers. And that was the thing. Like, I actually found out the people were like, there were so many legends, women coming in. It's like, because here's the reason why. They found, they were planning on for like, to have some spots. But they, after they did the announcement, they had so many legend women call up and they said, I want to be a part of this. They decided the theme of the Rumble will be an honorary of all women who oh, came yeah. for and present. Lita had on her written on her arm legends who couldn't be there. Oh, well, that's awesome. Um, as respect to them. Uh, the, Mae Young, the fabulous Mula, I think some of the names. I think... Uh, What's her name? Who was Bam Bam Bigelow's? Luna. Oh, yeah. Her. I think she. her name, I thought I caught it somewhere on there. But she had some people who couldn't, weren't there, who couldn't be a well, part yeah. of it, who were a big part um, there, which was, I thought was really cool. Uh, so they wanted to have like make it more of an honorary to all from the past. While to, still giving something big to, the, to yeah. the present. It was one thing we did find out. Yes. That it was not a surprise. How much Kelly Kelly stucks in the ring? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. She was never all that great in yeah. the ring. But I, I, was, yeah. I was glad to see her come out for the match. Um, I was glad to see that, but she had some blotch fest. Tori Wilson had a, a little bit of blotch fest, um, but they fixed it. Uh, like, yeah. But just, if you haven't been in the ring for a while, it's gonna you're gonna see that. For me, the weird one is the elimination machine in this match. Michelle McCool. No, I love that. She had five eliminations. But I love that because that's the kind of when she was there, she was dominant. Four of them were in a row. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, she was dominant at when she was there, so I love that. I thought that was a great little thing. It kind of gave that honorary to the women of the past. Yes. Type thing. Instead of giving, yes, like, people might say, that should have gone to someone there. No. The person winning, that's what, that's what that goes to. Yeah. The final elimination is for that. Right. Those two spots are more important we can give this to a legend. In all honesty, people only pay attention. And I mean, as I as I'm an example of, to the final elimination. Yep. Who's hitting the most eliminations? Mm-hmm. And, and the who, begin. Who and, starts it? Yeah, and who starts it? And and then you got the secondary co- uh, category of who was in there just to show up and then was immediately out. Yep. Now this one, I'm looking this over. I'm looking at all of the times for these ladies. No one was there just to be eliminated. 
There no. was no Heath Slater. No. There was one that would There be... was no Santino Morella. There was a quick... Uh, one of the fastest eliminations for one of the members, uh, which I loved. Yep. It was uh, Beth Phoenix showing up, uh, showing a little few things, attacking Nia Jax, you know, a few things there. Then uh, Natalia jumps in and help, attacks her, like has them. And yep. then you see Beth, like, hug her. Like, it's like a tack, like of a hug. And then like this... And then they kind of turn, and Natalia tosses her over the ropes, like a betrayal. Like, and just like, no, no, no. It's like you're just like, ha ha, yes. I mean, I wish she was in there longer, but it was great to see like they honored that friendship and that part that they had on Raw for a while. But then Natalia, who she is now, yep, turns on her friends. Uh, but yeah, that that was cool. I mean, the only person that was in there the shortest was Vicky Guerrero. Yep. And that and, was appearance. That was meant to be an appearance. And the weird part is she was eliminated by one, two, <laughs> yep. three, four. It took four people to eliminate her? Because they basically just attacked her and they just all threw her over. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that's, what, that's what she was there for. <laughs> because, I mean, Nia Jax is the only one. It was five people that, yep. that it took for her. Yep. But that makes sense. Yep. Because she's the monster of their yep. division. Yep. Uh, but Oscar winning was awesome. And it now brings me to my one thing Uh-oh. that actually kind of pissed me off about the show and yet made it really awesome. Ronda Rousey showed up. Yep. I was like, because halfway through the, uh, when I, we found out the Rumble, the Women's Rumble was coming on last. Yeah. What did I send you on Facebook, Messenger? Yeah, R- Ronda's, Ronda's showing up tonight. And she's winning. Yeah, and she's winning. Yeah, and then, and then, then I, I, I went, yeah, hold on. Then I said, then I kind of adapted my... If she's in the rumble, right, right. I I kind of I quickly adapted to that, and uh, she showed because like, we get this because you had a nice stare off, the Raw Women's Champion Alexa Bliss, SmackDown Women's Champion Charlotte, Charlotte, um, holding the belts, Oscar's kind of looking at both of them, and then Ronda's music hits. See, for me, Ronda's debut at that moment, yeah. yes. It was awesome as a debut, to me. Overshadowed Asuka. There was a, because this, that meant that end of the show is always meant to be the that that winner's yeah. moment. You know, Randy Orton climbing to the to the yeah. corner and pointing. Yeah, everyone doing something and pointing. As a wrestle, what is it with people and pointing? As a wrestle talk looks to point out. Winning the Royal Rumble gets you the honorary to point at the WrestleMania sign. I'm pointing at the WrestleMania you sign. Look at that sign. I'm going there. You get that. It's not the, you get the title shot at WrestleMania. I get to point to the sign. I, I know I've got it. See, at that point, though, you are the first person that gets to say, I have a match at WrestleMania. Yes. Especially since technically the card isn't made yet. Yeah, I know. Um, unlike when we had like AJ... Be, um, since K picking AJ, yes, um, and all that, we got that. But honestly, I love that we don't know exactly. We don't. We don't know. But technically, we don't because the rumors for the story for Ronda's first match at WrestleMania, because she's still filming. Oh yeah, a movie. Um, uh, by the way, to throw people off when TMZ broke the story, saying like, yeah, I'm not even gonna be there. I'm gonna be in Argentina filming a movie. Um. Um, 22 rounds, so I'm not going to be there. She was literally in Argentina on Saturday. <laughs> to throw her off, to throw people off, her entourage stayed in Argentina. Oh, wow. Her husband, because he's chartered a, a plane back, her husband went home with his kids from his first marriage, so he wouldn't be recognized. Oh, wow. This is how much they were trying to throw her off. See, if I heard about that before, I, the, I'm like, oh, maybe there is something to this. I'm like, no, she's showing up. Uh, I still would have been like, she's probably showing up. Oh, yeah, yeah. You but would like, have been. But I, I found that out later. But that's how much they went to throw that's people awesome. off, which was great. Um, and, yes, I do think it overshadowed her. But at the same time, I did like it. Oh, yeah. Oh, anyway, her match is they're gonna, they are gonna want to play off what happened a few years ago with Ronda Rousey at WrestleMania. The not match with uh, Stephanie McMahon? Yes, and Triple H. Yes. Apparently, WWE wants The Rock. And have that. A, wa- oh. a Rock Triple H match? Yeah, ta- mixed tag match. Oh my god, I would love that. Now here's the thing. Rock has a movie starting to filming in May. And 
since what happened with his match at John Cena for the WWE Championship where he tore his abdomen and delayed Hercules filming, uh, yeah. studios can't get insurance on The Rock if he's playing a wrestler at all. Well, that's crap. That's why he had that one-minute match. Of yeah. full, and then they specifically said full match. That's yeah. why he had that one-minute match with Rowan when he ripped off his clothes and just hit the rock bottom. Yeah. That must be the reason why. Oh, okay. So okay. he kind of had his hit a, a, a match without actually wrestling a full match. Um, <laughs> so that's the thing. They, they, but the thing is, by the time WrestleMania hits, the studios are going to have their need their papers involved. Yes. For that, so it's highly unlikely. So what I'm hearing is the stand-in, if they can't get the rock, Braun Strowman. I'm Fuck okay. yeah. I'm okay with that. Fuck yeah. I'm definitely okay with that. Um, so yeah, with Oscar, it just kind of do that, but I did like it. And I do love how everyone's mocking Ronda Rousey for her, how hard she pointed at the WrestleMania sign. Oh, that that is a hardcore point. Oh, yes, that is. And you can say it's a different style from what she's used to, but you could tell she's having fun. Oh, yeah. Because she's coming up, got a good pop. She got to say like this. She's smiling. This is not what you normally see from Ronda when she comes to a ring. No, no, no. no she's... Normally, Ronda is there to murder somebody. Yeah, because that's her job. Now, one thing I do have to say, and we're going to have to end up waiting until WrestleMania to see this. It's actually my one thing that I'm a little fear- fearful of her being here, yep. being in WWE. What's going to be? What, what's her gonna natural reaction going to be the first time she gets popped by somebody? Wow. Oh. Somebody hits you, somebody slips a little too far, gives her a little elbow. Her natural reaction is to pop them right back. Oh, speaking of pops, by the way. Yes? Guess who got popped in the Universal Championship match? Who? Oh, oh, yeah. No, I saw I saw that uh, Lesnar and Strowman were exchanging. No, 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 no. What happened was, is Strowman accidentally popped Brock. So Brock popped him right back. And yelled, slow the fuck down. <laughs> so I love that. I mean, yeah, Braun's still g- green. We, we got to remember that. Yeah. Uh, so it makes sense. And I love that. that. And I don't think Strowman's going to be one of those people who's going to take that seriously. No, but I did see that both of them had exchanged a number of very hard hits. Yes. Yeah. And then one of them, and that, the one that for Strowman was, it wasn't super hard, like, but he got, he was going too fast and yeah. really hit there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Str- Brock's like, Brock's from the, uh, he's from the Roots of Aggression era. He's also a UFC fighter. Uh, yep. Okay. You, you Slow down. You can give it to me, I can give it back, back to you. you. Okay. It's like, you're going too fast. I mean. I don't want to yeah. hurt you. Yeah. Um, Strowman could probably hurt him right back if he got. Oh, right yeah. There. But Brock's a better trained. <laughs> Just a little. Um, But still. It was kind of interesting to catch that because I didn't really catch that at all when I was watching the match. Oh, wow. Um, also, I think it was one of those matches I was watching and near the end I started paying more attention to it. So I think I might have missed it. But I think I, I, think I know the spot. Um, yeah, it's yeah. a spot where uh, Lesnar is bent down yep. and Strowman and it, comes in with a fist and yep. it it connects. Um, I mean, I, I'm not saying that it was a full power, but yeah. it's still for a, for a WWE right. event that connected... I mean, this is also the exact same night where Sasha Banks was kicking the air in front of Lita for four or five kicks in a row. And I was just like, no one, get off the hard camp. Get away from this. (laughs) Look at something else. Um, But yeah, so there. But anyway, uh, let us know down in the comments what you thought of uh, both shows. Yeah. Uh, Which one you thought the better show was. Uh, NXT. Yes. Um, I'm just going to give you that one. If you say the Royal Rumble, you deserve to be smacked. Hey, you know what? Maybe they enjoyed themselves with the Rumble. Uh, the only way you look, you enjoy the Rumble more than NXT is you didn't watch NXT. I enjoyed the Rumble a lot more than NXT right now. <laughs> you didn't even watch any of the Rumble, though. I watched a lot of the clips. Yes, you did. <laughs> By the way, thank you, WWE, for having a YouTube channel that has no problem minutes after something happens being like hey guess what here you go here, go. here. <laughs> and i'm just like guys you're normally hurt. you're back in when you had pay-per-views and we'd, began, we'd have to the, wait like days no not just that but to prevent to people so people will watch the recast a few days later 
you don't even show footage. I know. You, do, you did photos. photos. And if you did do footage, you cut right before the good thing. Yeah. Um, ah. Like that. But now it's like instantly. Yeah. So the people who are too cheap to pay nine ninety nine, or and get the the month free, uh, can just go to YouTube and instantly see it. Mm. So yeah, thank you. <laughs> so it's just funny. But yeah, let us know what you thought in the comments. Speaking of that, uh, give us a thumbs up if you like this show. Give us a like. Smash oh, yeah. the uh, subscription, the uh, notification button. Yes, bell, so you know when we post. But you know, go ahead and ask it nice if you can smash first. Yeah, you want to be nice. Be like, yo, yo, girl, can I smash? Okay. No. All right. All right. Just a little tap. <laughs> I mean, it, it will say yes every time. It's always yeah. down to smash. Yeah, it is. Um, but yeah, just make sure you ask that. Uh, and uh, don't even dare give us a uh, thumbs down. You know, that's going to get like all of them. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm not the kind of person. It's like, don't dare give I'm a thumbs down. I'm running the channel and now I have to look at this. Okay. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, have a wonderful yeah. week. We'll catch up with you next time.